Humans are pretty cocky. We like to think that we have the best features. But some animals have specializations that we could only dream of. Howdy animals, Trace here for DNews. Animals in the wild are subject to evolution's guiding hand, if you will. Animals are more like paintings than photographs. Next time you're at a portrait gallery, don't just glance at the faces and move on. Look at the items on the tables. Look at their clothing. It was all meticulously picked for specific reasons. Biology follows a similar process with millennia of natural selection picking specific things. For example, Research this week confirmed part of the reason why zebras got their stripes. Common wisdom would say it's for camouflage, or the crazy stripes would cause a dazzle effect for possible predators. Oh. But research published in Nature Communications is all like, oh, hell no. It's to fight off little fly bites. African flies are awful. Species include tsetse flies, which can transmit fatal diseases even to the zebra. Flies are attracted to dark colors, and the short hair found on the zebra hide isn't enough to keep the fly off their bodies. But by studying their visual system, scientists conclude the zebra's stripes seem to screw up the fly's vision. If they can't see to come in for a landing, then the fly will go bite some other animal. Nice. Zebras aren't the only ones with this less than obvious adaptation. What do you think the lion's mane is for? Making it look big and awesome, obviously, or to protect the lion's neck? Except nope. American scientists published an article in 2005 detailing 30 years of lion study. Lion's manes aren't for intimidation, they aren't for protection. Based on all of their data, manes for the ladies. Darker, larger manes indicate a well-fed lion who is obviously good at hunting and has higher levels of testosterone, which is great for breeding. These aren't the only ways animals unexpectedly adapt to their surroundings. If you're looking at giraffes, you probably figure, oh, those trees are tall, thus longer necks, right? <clears throat> Wrong again. Studying these animals, biologists guess the long neck has nothing to do with the height of their preferred food source because it's extremely dangerous for a giraffe who needs to drink to bend over like all the way down like that. Not to mention, the neck is horrible for the giraffe's heart. It has to work really hard to pump all that blood way up there. Instead, it may have started as an evolution for food, but giraffe's long necks are to compete for mates. Ever seen a giraffe fighting another giraffe? They whip their thick-skulled horned heads at other males trying to fight for the right to party. It's crazy. Physics tell us this makes their head accelerate dramatically in comparison to the movement required at the base of their neck. That thing is deadly. Scientists are still studying the giraffe, but Uppsala University found that the necks and skulls of males are longer and heavier than females, which would support the neck for sex theory. I guess we'll have to put our neck on the line and really reach for more study. <laughs> Do you know any of these other unexpected adaptations? Not like stripes for camouflage or whatever. We are looking for stuff that's not obvious at all. Tell us down below or come to Google Plus, Twitter, or Facebook. We're DNews and we're easy to find. Thanks for watching.